Uh, Alamos is a gold mining company. We were formed in uh, the mid 90s with the idea of pursuing opportunities in Mexico. The laws had changed in that country and had uh, opened the industry to foreign investment. And uh, we went in as a very small exploration company to get started with. We've since evolved into a mid-tier producer with uh, uh, one of the lowest cost producing mines in Mexico and um, several expansion projects there as well as um, projects in development in Turkey. The company started out as a small exploration company in the, in the 90s. We initially listed on the TSX Venture Exchange and um, raised a small, sum, a small amount of capital and with that uh, started exploration in Mexico. Over time the company evolved. We ultimately acquired a, a much larger project at a time when um, the gold price was under $300 an ounce. And um, we managed to catch an uplift uh, after that acquisition. We ca caught an uplift in the gold market and we were able to finance and, um, and build the project. Um, we raised roughly $75 million to build it through the facilities of the Toronto Stock Exchange. And without the exchange, we couldn't have raised that money. Well, we've, we have a record over, um, over the last decade of being a very low cost uh, gold producer. We've also put together a tremendous development pipeline and that pipeline, once we have it all up and running, will also be a, a, a low cost uh, production uh, component of the company. Um, our focus on costs and our ability to have generated uh, tremendous free cash flow over our years as a producer, um, that backs a very, very strong balance sheet and uh, a dividend which has uh, paid back over $100 million to investors in, um, in the last few years. And actually that's more money than we originally raised in order to um, get the mine built. And I think those, uh, those things really help us stand out as a company. We've had a strong focus on, uh, on running a mining company like a business. And as a result, we've had uh, excellent return on, uh, on equity, return on capital. Um, we have this um, tremendous production pipeline. We have about five projects now that uh, we're working on in various stages of development and uh, various stages of permitting. And over the next five years or so, we intend to build that production pipeline out to take us from roughly 150, 160,000 ounces annually where we produce now into the range of about 500,000 ounces of uh, annualized production. And um, we've got a great team in order to get that done. We've got a, the capital to get that done. And um, it's, it's now just a, a question of time. And I, I think we're going to be quite successful in doing it. Well, our experience has been uh, our experience has been a very positive one. Uh, we were we were fortunate in um, in our timing. We listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange at a point in time when the gold market was um, was in a very uh, significant upswing. It, it basically uh, continued for about eight consecutive years uh, to increase in in value uh, after our listing. Um, it allowed us to to grow and prosper as a company. In other words, the, the backdrop of a, of a good gold market allowed us to prosper as a company. And um, we ended up doing several financings uh, through the Toronto Stock Exchange, and that allowed us to make acquisitions and, uh, and to grow. And I would say an, another very strong appeal about being listed in Toronto is we've met investors from all over the world, from as from as far away as Singapore and Asia to, uh, to, to Zurich in, in Europe. And um, a very broad, broad spectrum of investors are comfortable investing in our company because we're listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. I think the combination of the exchange and, and the Ontario Securities Commission gives confidence to international investors that we're in a well-regulated market. 